Katie Ferrara. <clears throat> First, I'd like to start off by saying that I'm here to speak for my sister, Dorothy Pimento, who lost her husband, Carlos Pimento, Sr., and, my four, and for my nieces and nephews, Savannah, Carlos Jr., Cheyenne, and Colin Pimento, who lost their father. This was the most devastating, horrifying tragedy that we could ever imagine. Words cannot begin to describe how we feel over this. Something told me that I had to come here today to speak on behalf of my family to let you know what this has caused for a wife, husband, and four children who are truly the all-around family. Whenever you are at any of the soccer, baseball, softball, or basketball games in West Warwick, at least one of the mental kids were playing and Dottie and our Carlos were there on the sidelines for their kids. The kids were all excellent students, star athletes, and all around great kids who had two parents who supported them in everything they did and more. My sister Dottie had a husband she loved and has loved since she was 14 years old. This was the only man she has ever known in her life and one night of a senseless, unnecessary, horrible tragedy took away the life they all had together. As for the four children Carlos left behind, it is heartbreaking to see how they have changed at a time in their life when they were just figuring out who they were. Savannah was 15 when her father died, and she was a good student, great athlete, and had a lot of friends in her life. When her dad died, she didn't even want to go to school. She quit sports, and she didn't really go out as much. She was the epitome of daddy's little girl. She will never have her father walk her down the aisle when she gets married. He will never meet or be a grandpa to her children. Carlos Jr. turned 13 on February 27th, seven days after his father died. Not yet a man, but feeling like he had to be the man of the house. He was extremely close to his dad and it sucked the life right out of him. I could not bear to look at his sad face. I can honestly say that this has been, that he has not been the same since. It is so sad to see a kid that was so good in school and sports become a kid that wants to drop out of school because to him, what's the point? He was a little carbon copy of his father in every way. His father was and still is his hero. There will never be another person who he will feel as much love for in his entire life. He has been hit very hard from his father's death. His dad won't be there to help him to become a respectable, honorable man. Cheyenne was 10 when her father died. I do believe I worry about her the most because she never showed a lot of emotion and when she let me read her journal, it just broke my heart. She said how much she missed him and that she was hurting so bad and she couldn't cry, but she wanted to so bad, but she couldn't. Cheyenne has anger in her and I believe it is from losing her father and not knowing how to handle it. She was so confused by the whole thing. Her daddy will not be there for her first date or to teach her how to drive a car. Finally, we have Colin, who was only nine years old when his daddy died. He was hurting so bad and my sister would just hold him and he kept telling her that he wanted to die so that he could be with his father. I told Colin that I knew how he felt because my dad, his grandpa, had died and he said, Auntie, you weren't nine years old when you lost your dad. And I realized how much pain he was in. There were times when he would start crying and tell his mom that he was scared that he couldn't remember what his dad sounded like and looked like. Colin looks so much like his father now that he's getting a little older and I always tell him that. He will never be able to grow up being the baby of the family and have his dad to himself to ride dirt bikes with or spend time hanging out with. He only got to know him for such a short time, but Colin is truly his father's son. My sister and I talk about this a lot and we have both expressed that we don't want to feel anger because if you constantly feel anger, you will never be able to move forward in your life or even have a life. That doesn't mean that the whole entire family is not hurt because we are all hurt beyond any words that we could say to express it. We do feel we want Carlos to rest in peace and we want his children to be able to live their lives the best they can after this type of tragedy. 
I personally feel that we do not need a daily reminder in the papers or on the news as the family lives with the loss every day and nothing will ever change that. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Ms. Farrell. Thank you.